Let's draw the isomers of this complex, which is a cobalt ion surrounded by three ammonia molecules and three nitrite ions. When you have a metal and three of one particular ligand or thing hanging off of it, and three of another ligand hanging off of it, there's only two possible isomers or arrangements of those ligands that are distinct from one another. First of all, there's six total ligands here. The way six things arrange themselves around a center is octahedral, which we normally draw. I'm going to draw a CO in the center there as one up, one down, one left, one right, one coming out at you, and one going back into the page. Again, draw this as your basic structure for an octahedral complex where there are six, that's three, plus three total ligands. Cobalt in the center, up, down, left, right, forward, and back. But it's the arrangement of these that you came for, right? There's only two options, and here's how I draw them. I'm going to pick one of the ligands. I'm going to pick NH3. It doesn't matter which one you pick. And for what we call the FAC, or FAC isomer, I want you to do the NH3s all in the same corner of the drawing. Now, what this means is that if you rotated this atom or particle around, you could arrange it in one way so that all three NH3s are on one side and all three of the other things, in this case nitrate ions, are on the other side. Anyways, just put them all together. That's what makes it a FAC isomer. It's called FAC because if you try to connect those three together, you end up with a single plane that makes a face of the octahedron. You don't have to see that. You just have to know that FAC has them all clustered on one side. How about that? For MER, what I want is the same thing that you picked here. I picked NH3 to start with. And I want you to put them all, spread them around any three of the, the lines that aren't up and down, right? They can be left, right, or forward and backward. But they all have to be coplanar with, enough, with each other. So... What I usually do is I do the same two that I told you to do over there, and then instead of going down, I just go to the right. It doesn't actually matter if you use that one or that one. You can pick any three of those four, and you're going to be correct. You cannot, um, when, you, when you draw these dotted lines, which is, it's just a visual play for you, when you draw those dotted lines, you, you're not drawing out the face of any of the sides of the octahedron. You're actually like slicing into the octahedron itself. Again, you don't have to see it. You just have to know what to draw, right? And then lastly, I got to add my NO2s or I wouldn't be done, right? The point is the FAC isomer has all three clustered on one side. The MER isomer means all three of them have to be coplanar with each other. Now again, if you picked NO2, as the thing to draw all in one cluster. Look, we the three NO2s are clustered on one side of the FAC isomer. And for the NO2s, in terms of um, you know slicing the molecule this way into the page, you've got the three NO2s along that plane, but that's also coplanar with the N of this NH3, right? So it should make sense. You can always just memorize it and draw them these ways, but... Uh, it's beautiful to me that the, the what we call the FAC isomer happens to draw a face of the octahedron. So there you go. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.